In this video, I'll demonstrate how to configure a cloud witness. A cloud witness is a new quorum type with failover clustering in Windows Server Technical Preview 2. A cluster quorum determines whether the cluster stays up and running or not. It's basically a voting system, and there are various methods through which this can be done. So in the failover cluster manager GUI, I'm going to right-click in the left-hand navigator on the name of my cluster, cluster 1, and from there I'll choose more actions, configure cluster quorum settings. Now here in the wizard, it's currently set to use the default quorum configuration. However, I could select a specific quorum witness, and when I proceed through here, I could choose a disk witness, I could choose a file share witness, here's the new one, I could configure a cloud witness. Now, the purpose here is that the witness, whether it's a local disk, a file share, or essentially storage in the cloud with a cloud witness, they each have a vote in addition to each node in the cluster. So with the two node cluster, we've got then three votes, one for each of the two nodes and an alternate disk type of vote. Now, the purpose here is that if we have a majority of votes, then the cluster maintains quorum, which means it stays up and running. So if one cluster node would fail in a two-node cluster, we still have a vote from the remaining node, as well as a second vote, which makes majority, from one of these types of witnesses. Here, I'm going to configure my cluster to use a cloud witness. And then I'll click Next. Now, a cloud witness, like the other options, gets a vote, and it can participate in quorum activities to determine whether the cluster stays up and running or not. Now, this cloud witness option is really designed for multi-site clusters, and it uses Microsoft Azure to store the voting information. It stores it in a blob file. So here you can see it's asking for my Azure storage account name, my Azure storage account key, and the Azure service endpoint. So naturally, I need to have an Azure storage account created. Luckily, I do. Let's go take a look at it. Here in my Microsoft Azure online cloud account, I've already gone under storage, clicked the new button, and I've provisioned a new storage account. We can see here it's called Quick 24 x 7 Cloud Witness. It's online and ready to go. So what I need to do here is click on the Manage Access Keys link at the bottom center. I need to have this storage account name as well as this primary access key in order for me to configure a cloud witness for failover clustering. So back here in the failover cluster manager wizard where we're configuring the cloud witness, I've populated the storage account name field correctly, as well as the Azure storage account key and the Azure service endpoint field. So I'll go ahead and click next and I'll confirm it by clicking next again. And after a moment, we will have configured a cloud witness for our cluster. In this video, we learned how to configure a cloud witness.